Golly, that's a big old crappie. Power pole down. Power pole down right here. Boy, he swallowed that electric chicken too. Ooh, my goodness. Nice size crappie. Big old crappie. Doing a little crappie fishing today. Will you look how deep he's got that jig and that, that lucky minnow? I'm guarantee you, that thing is so deep, it's amazing. I might smash those barbs down. I tied that on, didn't smash it down. That's a nice big old crappie right there. That is a big one. I'm not gonna keep crappie today. My crappie fryer is the only one still one-handed. So, uh, but that was just right out there in the open water. I mean, I'm only in about three or four foot of water right here. I've come in to fish this little point. There's a little point of reeds coming out there. There's another one. <laughs> I saw something break out there. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I saw something break. God, it's a nice crappie. <laughs> I saw something break and I, I threw my jig out there. God, they are eating that thing. I'm telling you, they are, holy moly. I don't have to set the hook. All I gotta do is just wind. That thing is so deep, it's amazing. Well, I got some needle nose here handy. <clears throat> Golly. That little bait, this is a, just a killer bait. Oh, look at that big old crappie, man. Boy, I'm messing those that taste good. This is a lucky minnow that I'm fishing with by Lucky Strike. and It's some of their new crappie baits. and It's shaped like a little minnow, but it's got ridges, which causes vibration. And it's got a head on it like a minnow. This is a straight tail. We got a straight tail and a turbo tail both. One thing about this little tail there, you look at it, you cannot hardly hold it where it won't move. Now we got a little breeze out here today, but all of these accordion type ridges right here and it's got a little flat spot right there. So it's absolutely, it's absolutely great for, for, uh, for action. And this is electric chicken color. Everybody loves electric chicken. I power pulled down as soon as I caught my first one when you're when you're fishing with crappie, especially in open water, and you get you get on them, you want a power pole down. Now that might be the only two there, but it might not be too. You'd think it'd be some right up close close to those reeds, like that big crappie right there. Power pole down, Jimmy. Golly. You know you got the right color on, oh my goodness, when they're swallowing it like that. I mean, you know you have the right color. Every crappie that just eat it. I'm talking eat it. I have to stick my whole finger down his mouth. Golly, that's a big old crappie. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. They're, they're, they're getting it so deep. I'm gonna smash my barbs down. I'm gonna smash my barbs down and uh, I'll fish the barbless hooks the majority of the time anyway. No matter where I am, since I'm not fishing tournaments anymore, I don't have to worry about it. Get those barbs smashed down, that way I can unhook them a lot quicker. Gotta be careful, don't break that hook off. Okay, where'd I catch that one? Right there. Oh, nice throw, Jimmy. What's the deal? God. That one's about halfway back to the boat. He wasn't up there by the reeds, about halfway back to the boat. I guess there was only one here, huh? Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> ah, it's a pretty crappie. I need to set the hook just before they bite. Look at there, I hooked that one right. Just barely got that jig down his mouth. <laughs> Barbless hook, that's a perfect eating size right there. About 11 inches, perfect eating size, probably 12 inches. Electric chicken, lucky minna. Not minnow, minna. <laughs> that might be a bass. No, just a big old crappie. Golly, look at that crappie. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I oh, mean, a big one. These crappie have already spawned. These are big females that I'm catching. And look at the size of that crappie, will you? I mean, that is a giant sugar. 
Sugar booger. <laughs> Mercy sakes alive. Wonder what would happen if I just go down the bank. Jimmy, what are you worrying about, dude? You anchored with your power pole and you caught four. Golly, they're strong. Those are, those are nice size crappie. Oh my goodness. Look at the size of that crappie. <laughs> oh, they're getting bigger. Will you look at the look at the way they're eating that bait? Look at that. I mean, it's way down in there. I mean, way down in there. I mean, they are just gorging it. A little slack here. Got that barb off of it. It don't matter when you hook them that deep. Golly, that's a big crappie. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I mean, loaded. Probably ought to use a white spinner bait in here instead of a blue and chartreuse because of uh, they're probably eating a lot of the baby crappie. I would imagine there's a lot of crappie along this bank, so any bass is in here probably eating smaller crappie. Be my guess. So a white spinner bait might work pretty good, as my daughter Sherry would say. White is right, Dad. Won't we'll ever throw. This is a little one here. It's not really ever throw, but you throw a, a throw or two and you don't catch them. They might be. Here's the good thing about a barber's hook right here is I just take a hold of that jig, never touch the fish, turned her back. That fish is saying, ooh, I thought I was a pair of fillets right there for that young man. Instead, he turned me back. That's a perfect size to keep right there. Better than keeping those great big ones, actually. Although great big crappie tastes very good also. Those 10, 11 inches, man, those are the good ones. About a pound. Got that one. Saw that guy hit it. Saw that guy hit it, yeah. Yeah. Been a long way without catching one. Finally found it. It's another big one, too, though. <laughs> Boy, aren't those nice? I'm going to catch me a big bunch of these until I get tired of catching them. Of course, I went about an hour without catching one, so you talk about getting tired of catching them. Then I'm going to try to catch some bass. I saw a couple, two or three big old bass here. I think the bass may be gone.